Thanks for joining us. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to set up place value disks and decimal tiles for student use. One tool that you wanna make sure you have is a really great place value mat in which that you can use the place value disks with to do the variety of activities. Our place value mat features our MathMite character T-Pops. These sets come in a set of five. They're dry erase. So if you're just working with a small group, maybe an intervention or in your guided math group or in special education, the set of five that we sell is really perfect for a small group. We also sell what we call our class set of the place value discs because they are sold in 15. And typically when you're using the place value discs, you'll have kids work in um, pairs together as one person might be in charge of the ones and tens, another person might be in charge of the hundreds and the thousands and as well as somebody can always write on the T-Pops place value um, board. These are designed in 10 frames and the place value discs kind of fit perfectly in there. Sometimes when you get your place value discs that we might even use, sometimes in first grade, but more readily used in second through fifth grade with the whole numbers, they oftentimes come in bags. They've come in a variety of different packaging. Currently, the one that we're getting from Sensational Mac comes in this smaller size where it has 25 of every value. A class set would require for about 30 kids to have 14 of these in it. We're gonna first take a look at how we would set these up. Upon opening these, these can become really overwhelming because you have to think about there's 25 of each of the counters in here for each value. Really for a student set, if you can kind of control the numbers, you really are only gonna need about 15 of each value. So this takes a little bit of sorting and a little bit more patience, I would say, than the place value disc, discs being set up for student use because you have to kind of organize the discs in a way that you can label them. So being that we have 25 of each of the four values, I'm gonna go ahead and line these up with sets in um, 15. To save time in our tutorial video, I went ahead and set that up underneath the T-Pops place value mat as these are all organized with sets of ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. You want the labeling to go quickly like it does with the place value strips. And so it would be quite timely for me to put the letter A, A, A all over the top of these. So you might again want to use your Sharpie markers. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use my purple marker and I'm just going to make these the single dot set. Going through these in a very quick fashion by just putting in the one purple dot will ensure if this falls on the floor in your classroom as you get really frustrated, you'll know that it will get put into the right set again for student use to use in the future. On my next set, I might decide to do the two dot set to make it easier, maybe even the three dot set. Sometimes you can get fancy and do smiley faces. Um, but you also could use a variety of colors. Do be careful with the red, um, any kind of the light colors, like I wanted to use orange it might not show up as much. You could also do quick little X's, something that's in a quick way that you can get it ready for student use. Once you have these set up, you can put them in some type of a storage container. I really prefer these four by six photo boxes that might be sold at Michael's or any kinds of arts and crafts store or Joanne Fabrics. You can get them in a set of 16 or even 12 of them. The reason why I like these is because they open up nicely and you can slide in the discs and students can use them. In this case, you may decide to put on the label that this is the purple dot set. So if, if one of these is missing, the kids will know where to put that particular place value disc. I'm going to go ahead and put these place value discs inside of here. Um, it's very nice when you have these set up. If you get the discs kind of in there and ready to go, you can also slide in your place value strips as well. That way there, this becomes a nice set that you can have the kids use. So I kind of have my mini clips that we talked about in the place value strip video. I have my set of place value strips. I'm going to close that and go ahead and label this that purple set. This can be nicely used with your place value mat as each of these individual discs fit perfectly inside of the boxes here. The mat and the place value discs are versatile to be used with whole numbers as well as decimals. So if I want to look at my decimal pack that I might get if I'm in fourth, fifth, or sixth grade, those also easily open, but they're in squares. This kind of helps for students to delineate between the two different types of um, whole number versus decimal. These are set up in uh, a pack of 30. Um, and so it's also very nice to kind of put these together um, before you actually go through and perforate all of them. You might want to just perforate them into the sets of 15. Again, I can flip these over 
quite easily. And if I wanna make it match to that set, I'm gonna go ahead and put my single purple dot on the back of these. Again, I don't always mix my whole number and decimals together depending on the concepts that I'm doing. You know, sometimes even in fourth or fifth grade, I might not need my, my discs all the way to a thousand. I might just need my ones and tens with maybe even tenths and hundredths. I might not need to bring in my, um, my thousands as I'm doing it. These again kind of break real easy. Once you get them kind of together, you can just kind of pull them apart. And then you can have um, another container that you could put these in, again, just being the purple dot set. Um, and then I would put those with my place value discs. One thing to note on the place value mat after you have these set up and you're starting to introduce them to students is that you wanna remember that these are non-proportional manipulatives. What that means is that similar to coins, where our dime is small but worth 10, our nickel is larger and it's worth five. The place value discs are similar in that a hundred and a 10 are the same in size, but they're different in proportion. Normally when I'm using base 10 blocks, if I were to put in um, ones, tens, and hundreds, you might label the tops because if I had one 10 stick, I would put it in and it's one 10. When you're using place value discs, you don't necessarily need to label the top. If I were to write with my dry erase marker tens, kids might think that this is 20 tens, when in fact it's really two tens. T-Pops knows that kids sometimes need labels on top of the place value chalkboards until they get used to using the place value discs. Oftentimes when kids go to use, you know, they might go ahead and use um, tens, ones, and then start to bring in tens, they have to kind of figure out how the place values are shifting. Um, so there is dry erase pieces at the top of the board to temporarily label it, but we don't want kids to get confused. This is 20 tens. There's lots of really great activities to to use the place value discs in the Why Before How book featured on our website on sis4teachers.org. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful so you can get your tools and your math salad bar organized for student use.